I am beating every N64 game, and I mean all of them. The twist is, the next game I play is randomly selected, so I have no clue what's coming next. This is the journey to beating every N64 game. Game number 52, Hamaster Monogatari 64. Released in 2001, this game was developed and published by Culture Brain. This is another Japanese exclusive title, and well, it's a weird one. Unfortunately, that means all the text is in Japanese, so I'm gonna have to use that translation app throughout. This game was not popular at all in Japan, and basically no one in my chat had ever heard of it, so let's see what the heck this is together. Right away, I was greeted with some cute hamsters on the title screen, and the music here is just a banger. The main menu had three options, and the last one in the list took me to this creepy fortune-telling hamster. It asks you for your birthday and blood type, then for another hamster's birthday and blood type. Based on this, it'll tell you the compatibility of two hamsters. This is info you can use for breeding during the game, like they gotta be into each other, you know? So there's sort of a single player mode in this game? You'll see. It opens with our character in town, and they're like, oh, I just finished shopping, and they see a video of a hamster on a TV nearby. It's some crazy hamster race like the dogs at the casino or something like that. And our character is freaking out about it. Some old professor looking dude shows up and he's like, hey kid, you wanna buy a hamster? Not creepy at all. He gives us a blue hamster and he's like, hey, it's on the house. Not sure what he's up to, honestly. After that, some lady shows up who has eyebrows floating over her hair somehow. <laughs> She's wondering if an old dude in a lab coat came by here and we're like, dude, I'm not a snitch. Also, apparently the hamster can talk. It demands we give it a name. That guy sure looks like a mic, right? We're all happy now and we decide to go to the hamster store, cause of course there's a shop dedicated solely to hamster care in this universe. The shopkeeper here is even wearing an apron that says hamster shop. That's how you know he's legit. He's He's just like, hey, I'm the hamster guy. If you need hamster stuff, come to me. And he offers us a cage and a water bottle for our new hamster. And we're like, oh, I don't have any money, so, uh... And he's like, oh, whatever. Nobody ever comes here. You can just take it for free. This business is doomed to fail. Finally, after all that dialogue, we go to the main menu. You see this a ton while playing the game. Unlucky for us, it's all in Japanese, so I just started playing around with the different options. It turns out this game is literally just a hamster raising simulator. Kind of like Tomagachi, but a bit more in-depth. I'm not really sure why somebody would pay 7200 yen to purchase this game instead of just buying a real hamster, but hey, I'm just here to beat it. First one I picked took me to a place called Hamnet. I guess this is like an online message board for hamster enthusiasts or something like that. I feel like if this existed in real life, it would just be a bunch of creepy people on here. It doesn't do anything special other than give you info and tips on what certain hamsters like to eat or do or certain exercise regimens, things like that you know? Then I tried the first menu option and it took me to a view of Mike's cage. He's just in there walking around looking all cute, you know? Doing hamster things and stuff. One of the options in this menu is to clean the hamster's cage. It shows a brief image still where we're washing his cage and Mike's trapped in this tiny little box being like, Hey man, let me back in. Actually, I don't know why, but I kept accidentally pressing the clean cage button so many times in this playthrough when I didn't have to. Mike probably hated me. After that, I decided to take a trip back to the old hamster shop. Every time you visit here, the shopkeeper scolds you on how you're not a good enough owner. He's like, hey, you haven't played with Mike at all, man. Man, he's probably lonely. Anyway, here you can purchase items for your hamster. There's food, snacks, new accessories for the cage, such as toys, beds, feeding bowls, or water bottles. I decided to buy a big plastic block of cheese for Mike to play in. So back to the cage, there's another menu where you can do certain activities to bond with your hamster. Things like exercising, playing, or having it take a nap. So like here I had Mike run around in the grass outside with me. Thankfully he didn't just run away because I'm a horrible owner. You should do one of these bonding exercises once per week. Then there's a menu where you can attempt to train your hamster on certain behaviors. At the start, I could only train Mike in eating, you know, to try to get them to not be aggressive around food. You can choose to either train them aggressively, calmly, or in a more neutral way. I decided the training went okay, so I gave Mike a snack that I purchased earlier. The snacks are different from food in that you can only give them one snack per week. It raises their mood and morale when eaten. 
So essentially this main menu is where you will set how your hamster will live its life to affect how it grows up. And then there's a sub menu within that where you can set the hamster's exercise routine for that week. It has certain stats and things like strength, speed, and friendliness with other hamsters. Depending on which activities you have it do throughout the week, its stats will change accordingly. Next there's a menu where you can add, remove, or replace accessories in your hamster's cage. Finally, I could place that giant block of cheese in here so Mike would have something to play with. And maybe that store owner would get off my back. And look, Mike played in it almost immediately, and he loved it. Once you're done with all the planning for the week, you submit it, and the week plays out. It shows your hamster going through all the exercises you had it do, and a menu pops up showing how its stats changed. In the first week, Mike got absolutely jacked, gaining one strength and one speed point. And yeah, that's basically how this game plays. You just plan out all the different things for your hamster to do during the week, and anything you might need from the shop, and then let the week play out. And you just keep doing that over and over and over and over literally infinitely like this game doesn't have an end you could keep raising the hamster forever if you wanted i don't think they die of old age or anything like that so naturally you might be wondering well how did you beat this game then since there's not really an end goal i came up with my own to consider the game to be beaten. You can have your hamster take part in a race and a talent show. Since there's not much else to do, I decided after winning both a race and a talent show with Mike, the game would be beaten. The way you get into these, of course, is going to the hamster shop and telling the owner you want to enter. And he's just like on cloud nine after you tell him that, oh my god, no one ever wants to enter these. I can't believe it. Yeah, yeah, dude, I'm just trying to make some money. You can only enter these when they're scheduled, so it's just kind of random when one will show up. I decided to go back home and let Mike walk into my hand so we could get some bonding in. But he just ran past. Like, how's he going to leave me hanging like that? I decided he needed to be punished for this insubordination coordination so I put him in his tiny box and cleaned the cage again. Cleaning it can actually be good, but you're supposed to wait a while to do it. Not clean it every single day multiple times, you know? Next time I went to the store, some girl was there instead of the creepy sideburns guy. I think she just shows up once per month. She's saying something about looking into our house to see if we're taking care of the hamster? Like, dude, is she stalking me? Also, why is she running the store? Is this child labor? I think I need to call CPS. But really, she doesn't do anything different other than the dialogue. She says she's scared of hamsters, which is kind of weird considering her father has her running the hamster store. And over time, she gets more comfortable around them as you bring yours to the store. The only functionally different thing when she's running the place is you're not allowed to enter any races or talent shows because she says only adults can do that for whatever reason. Nothing makes sense in this universe. As you're hamster levels up and your relationship with it grows, it can learn new abilities. These are used during the talent shows. After the first few weeks, I clearly had raised Mike well because he learned the ability to wear sunglasses and just look cool as can be. Like, come on, how do you not think this guy's awesome? This was also the end of the first month. At the start of the month, you get your allowance from your parents. 1,000 yen, approximately 10 US dollars. Mike was starting to act rebellious now. You know how teens get. Once he put on those sunglasses, he wouldn't listen to a word I said anymore. So I threatened him with my fist because I'm a human and I can beat him up. But I don't think he cared really. Finally, after a month of waiting around, I had my first opportunity to enter a hamster race. It was scheduled for the first week of June. I decided to purchase a toilet for Mike to celebrate this big occasion. I don't really know where he was using the bathroom before, but well... At least now he can be sanitary. Purchasing a toilet unlocked the ability for me to potty train Mike. So I just pointed at the toilet while he flailed his arms around. I think it worked. Don't poop in the cage anymore, buddy. However, immediately after that, I noticed a brown substance in the center of the cage. That could only mean one thing. Mike didn't go in the toilet. Time to put him in that box and clean this baby up. So yeah, I just kept doing my routine, feeding Mike, training him, and raising his stats. Then it was time for the big event, Mike's first hamster race. It just gives an explanation of how the race works, then you go right into it. You don't really do anything, you just kind of watch it happen. When it started, Mike was, well, he wasn't doing too well. Go Mike. Mike, oh, look at that guy. Mike, we need to severely change your training regimen.
Wait, is Mike coming back? Mike getting a second wind? Go Mike! Okay, go Mike! Go Mike! Let's go Mike! Come on, let's go! Heck yes, dude, what a comeback! Man, at first I was ready to disown him, but Mike really pulled through. It looked like he was going to get annihilated, but he was just hiding his true power. For winning, you get 2,000 yen, and well, Mike gets nothing, I guess. Poor hamsters being used for money. So that was half of our gold down. Mike had won a race. I knew I'd been training him right. Well, sort of. After a few weeks, Mike somehow destroyed his toilet. What the heck is he doing in that thing? Maybe I need to change his diet. It turns out things degrade over time, so you'll need to replace everything. All the toys, the water bottle, food bowl, and toilet. The shop will have higher tiers of items that last longer as you progress further in the game, but they're also more expensive. A few months later, it was time for the other half of our goal, the talent show. It takes place in this big red stage and you can tell that this is legit. It talks about the show then shows off all the contestants. The hamsters are there like doing weird poses and <laughs> it's honestly hilarious. The way the talent show works is you set a bunch of techniques your hamster has learned to show off. You pick the order it does them with the judge liking certain tricks in certain orders. I'm not sure if there's a way to figure out what the judge likes. Mike had learned three techniques so far so there's no way the judges wouldn't love him. Like look here's Mike looking like he's tired and then look Mike's peeking his nose out of the hay to sniff things and even he here. Mike's pretending like he's locked in a jail cell. He's just so talented, like, I don't know how he does it. After showing off the talents, it shows how the judges have scored them. Mike got 103 points in total, man, that's great. Then it reveals the final results, and, well, the top hamster got 220 points. Dude, these judges suck. I realized I needed to train Mike more so he could learn some new talents. I think I was training him too hard though because I tried to get him to take a nap and he bit me. How could he do this man? I gave him my everything. After a few more months of training, Mike finally learned a new ability, kicking the hay in his cage. Oh man, how does he do it? It still wasn't enough though, so I spent a few hours just advancing time training Mike more and more. I ended up buying him a ball to roll around in. If any of y'all have had a hamster, you know this is awesome. My friend used to have one named Fidget, and it was just so cool he'd run around the house like a madman. Although there was this one time the door to the basement was left open and he rolled down the stairs, and that was kind of scary. He was okay though. Mike's cage had progressed a lot too. He had a running wheel and a house. His water, food, and toilet were all upgraded too. It was time. I took Mike to the talent show for his final performance. There was actually an issue with the language barrier here that was preventing me from winning. It mentions in the rules that you aren't allowed to repeat talents, so I thought I needed to learn eight different ones. However, if I knew Japanese better, then I would have understood it meant you can't repeat talents in either half of the show. See, the show's divided into two segments, so since Mike knew four techniques, I could use all four of them in both halves of the show. So I had Mike go out there and show off his stuff. He looked tired, he sniffed out of the hay, he pretended he was in jail, and then he kicked the hay. It all came down to how the judges liked it. And it turns out Mike got 292 points and won it all. Finally, Mike had achieved his ultimate goals, winning a race and winning a talent show. Since this game has no end, I just decided this is how the game would be complete. There's some things I didn't do, like participate in higher level races and shows. I think it goes up to a level 5. You can also have multiple hamsters and even breed them. But I decided it just wasn't worth it to try to get into that, mostly due to the language barrier. It was hard enough just dealing with a single hamster. Having multiple would make it way more complex. So yeah, this game's considered beaten by me. So there you have it, my journey to beating Hamster Monogatari 64. This was definitely a weird one. It's literally just hamster raising simulator. I don't see a lot of people being interested in playing this one, honestly. Like, it's kinda neat, but who's that interested in raising a hamster that they'd go out and buy this game? It never ends, so I guess you get unlimited entertainment out of it at least. Uh, the music was pretty awesome, the graphics weren't bad, but the game's just kinda boring. Even though I kinda 
got attached to Mike. I gave it a 2.5 out of 10 for enjoyability and a 2.5 out of 10 for difficulty. The only reason it has any difficulty is due to the language barrier. So if you know Japanese, you'll have no problem beating this game. But yeah, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you did enjoy the video, consider giving it a like as it does help the channel a lot. And if you like this series, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one. But yeah, thanks for watching. And here's a sneak peek at what is coming next. So there are currently 339 games left on the list. Could be anything other than the ones we've already played, I guess. But uh, let's see what it is. Three, two, one, go. 141. What is that? Oh, man. We are playing the next cheek kill game. Which I believe is a Japanese uh, soccer game? No, that's J-League. This might be baseball. <laughs> uh, so I think we're playing a Japanese baseball game. I think that's what Jikyo is.